Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting back at Cyberpunk 2077. Today it got a brand new patch, the 1.61 patch. And at first I was like, nah, nothing special. Just some bugs here and there. But there was one really awesome new upgrade. From now on, the game runs with um, Fidelity FX 2.1. And yeah, you can definitely see that. It's, it's amazing what they did with this. So without further ado, let's just dive in. First of all, let's see how much data the game is right now. And that's 63.3 GB. The game is not on Game Pass, at least not right now. Um, I personally would wait for a deal. Uh, the game is at least once a month for uh, cheaper than 70 euros. The game is fully optimized for the new generation of consoles, of course. And um, yeah, let's go, go start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me. You're really helping out this channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a daily basis new games, old games, updates on games, and even a little bit of hardware here and there. So, yeah, I must say I have a little bit of a cold. So if you see me crying, <laughs> that's not because I'm so emotional. But, um, yeah, uh, how do you say that? How do, did, did, did it call a hay fever or something like that? And, uh, yeah, always around this part of the year, I've got, I've got this a little bit. Also, by the way, maybe you've already seen it behind me. It's already completely empty i'm in an empty room almost so this is probably one of my last videos i will record here on this area maybe one one or two extra videos but yeah the end of an era so i'm moving to a new house and uh with a dedicated um room for recording but yeah look at this this is on xbox series s you guys fidelity fx 2.1 so, and i think it looks absolutely gorgeous Pink fingers is gone, even the resolution it's it's not, the still I, I i let my buddy aj gaming i let him uh check out if the resolutions are still the same the resolutions are still the same so it's still 1080p at 60 fps or 1080p up to 1440p at 30 fps there's here. no ray tracing on the series s but with the fidelity fx all the uh, textures and stuff look way better <clears throat> it's not that yeah how do you say it don't have time to massage ego. it was really grainy i, I think that. that's the best way to describe it the game looked super grainy at 60 fps, but the grainy effect is almost gone. One thing's for sure though. Claus won't forget this. That's uh that's pretty cool. Talk to Johnny. We're going down. And this game is so incredibly big. It took them a few years extra to make this game like ultra awesome on new gen consoles. But finally we have the ultimate version of Cyberpunk. Don't look in any condition to find help. And I love the fact that they still try to improve themselves constantly. You know, the game already runs good and they 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 at at CD Projekt are still having no, this idea. No, yeah, okay, it runs good right now, but me? it can run better. So, <clears throat> look at this. It's all going too slow. This is on a $299 console. Me dead. Said so at 60 FPS. Clear sense that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. 
What the hell you want from me? I gotta get out of jail. It looks really, really good. And this is what I wanted to see. Like like 1080p, 60 FPS, Fidelity FX on. There's no switch, by the way, for Fidelity FX on and off. That's what I need you for. Also not on Series S or uh, Series X and PS5. But yeah, wow. Listen, what next? Ray tracing on Series S? <laughs> Who can help us do <clears throat> with this game? That You'll would be something. 60 I'll FPS with ray tracing. <laughs> like I said, I'm still a little bit cold. Don't trust you. Clear, right? So why would I trust in your plan? You don't. Death now, but you'd yeah, let's skip this a little bit. Can I skip this? So no. Bitching, I'd be happy to explain. Sound good? <coughs> okay, so I love Keanu Reeves, but somehow I... What is it? Exactly. Yeah, how, how do I say it nicely? Okay. I don't think he really fits in this game. If you're jacked in, don't know what they at first had for him, killer. but... They should have taken some someone like Nicolas Cage or something, like some kind of actor that could could completely go nuts. Sure. Like completely go, yeah, insane. You know, to be honest, Keanu Reeves is just a too cool actor to play Johnny. Come on, come on, you got more to say, so just say it. Fifty years back. I love the guy. Uh, since since the early '90s with his Bill and Ted movies, <clears throat> I always like to watch this guy. This already looks way better than it did on. Uh, Without fidelity effects. You, way, way better. Meantime, <laughs> the passion. Look at this. It's pretty amazing. Stand here. The sun is down, but I hope you're still up. The king is dead. Long live the king. So much more to do also. See much more cars driving around. Oh, darn it. It looks way better than it did. Look at the shining uh, roads and stuff. I'm going to drive around a little bit. I'm not going to follow the story. But wow. I'm actually quite surprised. Oh, darn it. Where did you learn to drive? Let's see. There's way more, more people also walking around, I think. I think that this update is actually way better than I expected. Are there any cars? Right? Nah, no, not many cars. This could still a little, little bit better. A little bit more lively with cars driving around. But look at these light effects on the ground. Yeah. This is really well. This is really good stuff. What's important? That I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with I'm just walking around a little bit. Arasaka. But yeah, He's wow. In Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. 
What an amazing game. Every time again, it amazes me how good this game can actually look. That's gonna help us how, exactly. There will be a meeting. You Definitely a must-have for people that like RPGs. So look at these light effects. This is so much better than it was. It almost feels like a completely brand new version of the game. They did way more than I expected. Oh. And if you play this on a uh, 1080p television or a uh, 1440p console uh, monitor, then it will be 100% next gen. This is what all next gen games sh should look like. At first I was a little bit harsh for this game. Stupid dog. Shh. Hey. Don't do that. Look at these light effects. Incredible. Is that screen? Yeah, that screen is... It's broken. <coughs> That's cool. But yeah, you guys, this is Cyberpunk 2077 running on Series S with Fidelity FX 2.1 enabled. And uh, yeah, this is next gen. Really, really, really awesome. I really want to thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. Uh, don't forget to watch any of the other videos I will have uh, on the other side of this screen. And um, hope to see you guys soon in another one. Bye.